<laughs> well, uh, uh, the way I was cast was through Hazel Ellerby, uh, who played the first Nico. Um, we went to drama school together many, many years ago, and um, uh, she had been cast as Nico and gave me a phone call and said, would I be interested uh, in coming up for this, this new video game? And I said, of course. She said, I'm in it, I, you know, I, they're looking for an American guy, would you be interested? So I went along, met the director in Food for Thought, a very odd man, <laughs> and uh, uh, we got on really well, and he offered me the job then and there, and I, uh, so I said, of course, yes, and the deal was done, and I assumed it would be similar to the way that most of the other voice jobs that I had had in the past would go, which was I would get a script a couple of weeks or a, a month before I'd get a chance to read through it, annotate it, get back to the writer, stroke director, or whoever, and, and talk about it, and then, you know, just, in those days, things were a lot slower. And time passed, and time passed, and time passed, and it got to be like a week before the project, and I asked if, you know, would I, and Charles was very cool about it, he said, absolutely, and they biked over, in those days, there was no email, they biked over <laughs> a script. And he said, this is only part of the script, but, you know, this will give you a flavor, an idea. And I said, great, okay, so I started preparing it, which means, as an actor, you, you read through it, you know how you want to do it. Now, the script was about 100 pages long. Uh, it was quite, quite, mm -hmm. quite chunky uh, for, for a voiceover thing. It, I thought it was a lot. And then um, he phoned me back the next day and said, now, that's only part of the script. There's <coughs> another two-thirds to come. <laughs> um, and that's the first half. <laughs> and I thought, like, holy smokes, you've got to be kidding me. Um, and so he sent me, along with the other two thirds, the annotated version of the first 100 pages that he'd sent me the day before. And that's when I started to get to know Charles. <laughs> Uh, you get a script, but it'll change. I know. And, um, <laughs> and we ended up doing what I was booked for a, a certain period of time. I think it was five days, and we ended up doing twelve days mm -hmm. to do the script. And when the first half of the game went to Germany uh, to get produced, the Germans called Charles. I was there when he got the call um, in the studio, um, and uh, uh, they said, "Wow, this is." This is bigger than we thought. We're going to have to readjust the deal. And uh, hmm. Charles then told them that this is only the first half. And they, they couldn't believe it. It was the biggest game they'd ever seen, it. I mean, by some way. Um, and I've just gone completely off topic. That's how originally I was cast and what happened in the first sort of 12 years of my life. I mean, yeah. That brilliant, was it. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant.